Well, folks, welcome to this episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. My name is Kyle. Today, we're in Northern Ontario at Barker's Bay Resort and Outpost. This is a fly-in camp in the summertime. And in the wintertime, you just bring the snowmobile, snowmobile about 15 miles in off the main road. I got four cabins here. I should mention this is part of the Manitou Weather Station, which is on Lower Manitou Lake. And we're gonna get out. We're gonna try to do some lake trout fishing and uh, throw some of them big tube jigs at them. We'll go over the rigs once we get out there. We got a sauna right here. They got a hanger for the plane. They got a fish cleaning house over here. Main lodge, like I said, four cabins. Sydney's up in our cabin. We're staying in the moose cabin. I'll show you guys around that in a little bit here. But just excited to be here. It's about uh, 30 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, which Celsius, it's about 30 below Celsius as well. They're very close there. Uh, chilly one, but join us on our trip in Canada. <laughs> Fish right here under the... Oh, smoked me! <laughs> right under the ice! Oh my goodness! Let's go! There's some ice. All right. All right, we're in 82 feet. Let's have at her. 10 minutes we got left. Oh. What, what? You're on. I am on. Here we go. Let's go. Just keep doing what you're doing. Use the rod, use the rod to fight him. He's at the hole, he's at the hole, he's at the hole. Careful, careful. Just keep lifting. He's at the hole. Just lift, 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 lift. S you. Super slow. It's stuck on the... Stuck. Woo! This is a keeper. Woo! Yes! Babe, you just caught a lake trout. I just got a lake trout! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. He's gonna flop all over me, isn't he? Well, let me yeah, take- he's bloody. Yeah. Let's clean him up. I gilled him when I grabbed him, but your hook is, we, we're keeping him. Woo! Shh. But babe. Woo! That, that happened a, so fast. It did, I was just, Look I at don't that. even know. He it, chowed down. You're like, I'm gonna get a different lure. That's a good fish. That's like a four pounder. Yes. Woo! Here we go. So happy. Camera's thawed. Babe just caught a lake trout, her first lake trout ever. Yes. <laughs> Look awesome. at that. This is gonna be our keeper. <laughs> Holy smokes. That is a nice fish. Beautiful. Wow. They say they have pink meat here too, instead of like white meat. So this we'll is gonna be out. interesting. We're gonna eat them for dinner. All right. The thing slammed it. Yeah. Look, so we are just using, like they say, use tube jigs up here. We got a tube jig, it's got a treble hook here, it's got a hook there, we got a minnow tail on it, and uh, a spinner. So that's our setup. Awesome, awesome. We're gonna throw him outside so he can freeze up. You got a lake trout, honey. I did. <sighs> Yay! <sighs> lake trout on the board. Crazy. Oh, I got one on me. I got one on me up high. Yes, I, I might have it. Oh my gosh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, it hit, it hit, it hit. Yeah, yours is really active with you. Look at the live scope, look at the live scope, it's at the hole. It just hit me right under the ice. Let it go back down. Chase it, buddy. Chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it. Come back up. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. You catch one. You catch one. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, my goodness. This one's decent. Here, honey. I'm coming up. Oh, my gosh. 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 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't let it just hurry. Holy buckets. Are you all the way out? Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. We're recording. Light really bright behind you. Okay, I'll turn that off. Yes, perfect, perfect, okay. perfect. Did you see this thing run? I seen it. Oh my goodness! Two of them came in. Okay, he's 10 foot down. There was three on. Yeah. There was like a whole, this one's, this one's good. Like I'd say it's probably a 30. Let's go. Okay, okay, it's about the same size as yours. Maybe it's a touch bigger. I've seen it, I've seen it. It's just a touch bigger than yours. Let's do it. Nice and easy, he's at the hole. He's close, oh my goodness. It's a good fish, it's a good fish. I'm just gonna slowly let him turn. <laughs> it is good, <clears throat> it is good. Oh my gosh, that first run though, oh, oh, it's like a 30 incher. All right, easy, easy, buddy, easy, easy, easy. Careful on that ice, son. I'm, I'm doing, all right. You're doing great. I just want his head. Oh! Do you see God, him? Oh my God, I just seen it! Oh. It's right here. He's up the hole! Oh. <laughs> okay, not in the gills this time. He just kicked the bait out. Oh man, what a solid fish. My first lake trout. <laughs> Woo! Bam. Oh my gosh. Yes. Way to go. Oh, solid fish. <laughs> All right. Let's get some pictures on that fish. Put up a. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's take a couple pictures. You want to let this guy go? All right. We're going right. to let this guy go. Let's go. All right, we popped a couple pictures of this guy. We're gonna let him go. This is amazing. Tail kick, goodbye, buddy. Oh, we put out our fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was... Incredible. Babe, that was amazing. That fight that he just, like when he hit Zing! and he ran, that was the best fight I've ever had. That was like, that was very similar to the brown trout and the, the, um, the steelhead. The steelhead. Yeah. Holy buckets. <laughs> we did it. We're in Canada. Self guided lake trout trip. This is wild. Manitou weather station, lower Manitou Lake. If you guys got a snowmobile and a flip over or whatever, like just stuff to be mobile, get up here, come stay in these awesome little cabins. Come catch some lake trout and just come have a mini vacation in Canada because that is awesome. <laughs> Literally just a white tube with a little spinner on the back of it. These were like drop tine or something. Bought them at the rainy lake, whatever, drop right over the border. They're A in Canada. <laughs> I'm juiced. I'm so excited. Let's go fish again. <laughs> so for bait, we're just cutting up pieces of these minnows that we bought at the bait shop, hooking them onto the back of the hook just to give it some extra flavor flav and yeah so just like this putting around to the hook some flavor I'll spin around like yay good to go check my line for abrasions no we're good yeah go back down This one's making you work for them. Mm -hmm. You're gonna catch them. Right back to bottom now. You're on, huh? Good job. Make another run. 
He's here. He's coming up. There you go. <laughs> Again. Yes. Oh my gosh, I can't see everybody. Okay. You got another nice one, huh? Yes, I do. Look at that, 80 foot of water. Played with him for a long time. He did good. Yeah. Uh, see if you can't pop that hook out. Watch it treble. Boom, just like that pops out. Nice. Another nice one, look another at that, nice guys. Woo! Look at that Laker. That is awesome. Yes. These come in like 40 pounds and 40 inches, but uh, we'll take these all day long. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> you want a picture with them? Sure. Yeah. Okay, well. It's gone. Cool. Jig it up off the bottom. What the heck? Good job. Who am I? Off the bottom. You off worked. the bottom. You worked that fish so hard. Frick yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We should change lures though. You can. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> And you guys may notice we're in a flip over. We, uh, we're like, if we're going to Canada, we need a flip over shack. We need to have the room. We need to be mobile. Snatched this up on Facebook Marketplace. So we got a flip over. Missed it. That fish is coming up to get you again, eh? Mm -hmm. There's still a fish there. on the bottom. He's still there. Is he? Do you see him? He's right here. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's railing in. He's coming in hot. There he is, just he's get right there. Just smash him. I think I got him. Set that hook, set that hook. Okay. It's on. Ha <laughs> ha, baby! All of a sudden my line like just went. Went slack? Yeah, super slack. Okay, leader's here. Keep the leader right there, don't reel anymore, just lift. <laughs> Perfect! Good job. I got him. I got the line so you can just grab him. Woo! Nice little one, honey. Yes. Look at that. Nope. All right. There we go. See you later, buddy. He was ready to <laughs> Good go. Good job. Jigged him up, baby. Man. So what have we learned so far? The fish that come in in the middle are super aggressive and are going to eat instantly. Fish if on it's in the, the middle. Yeah. And the fish on the bottom need to be worked. Fish on the bottom are tough. But they're smaller too. Mm -hmm. So far. Which seems like. This doesn't have any vibration, but it would probably look really good. Did you just have a did you just no. have them on? No. Hmm. It's on medium? It is. Flip it on the high if you want. Fish right here under. The... Oh, smoke me! <laughs> right under the ice. You got it. Oh, oh, I'm in you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna just nope, let my. Just like not all the way. This is crazy. It took you all the way to the bottom. Oh my god! It just took out 80 feet of line. Scissors works? Yep, scissors. Cut above this, cut this one, cut this one up top, yep. Uh, yikes. Cut it, quick. Okay. Okay, grab your lure. Just try to finesse it off. Big fish, he's still here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Whoa! He's getting close. Guys, he's getting close to the top. Insane. Do you want it? Oh. Whatever you want me to do, you let oh, me know. He's hooked in the side. He's hooked in the side, like right behind his, right behind his mouth. Like he tried to hit it and he didn't. Here we go. Ooh, that's a nice one. That <laughs> is. All right, well, this guy got snagged in the side right there. Should be all right. Another good fish. Look at that. 
I don't know what the rules are in Canada about snagging a fish, but gotta let it go. I don't see like intestines coming out. I think we just got a side of his belly meat. We're gonna let this guy go. There we go. He'll be all right. I'm confident that there's no blood coming out of it. We didn't poke his air bladder. This fish should be just fine. Yep, kicked away. Should be all right. Should be all right. That was wild. I was just jigging right below the ice, basically. There's this. There's this, she says. And here's this. Here's this. See, we snapped it off. So what we're doing, I heard guys talk about like these trout just engulfing your lure and, and tearing up your line with its teeth up here. So what I'm doing is I ran a 30 pound, mo or a 30 pound fluorocarbon to 10 pound fluorocarbon. So our main lines are 10 pound, which is a little uh, on the light side. We do have, um, some extra like braided and stuff, but so far the 10 pounds been holding up. Um, so yeah, we have 30 pound fluorocarbon to a main line uh, fluorocarbon of 10 pounds. And we got a small little swivel in here for, for the main line and that to go through so we don't get line twists or our line twists can come out. Simple setup and a big old tube jig like we went over earlier. Wow. Well, I mean, if you wanna go watch them cut some ice and grab our bag. Grab our bag that we forgot over there. Yeah, because um, I can always put the bag like right here. Yeah. And then we just shoot back to the cabin, eat a lunch, come back out. Mm. That sounds good. Well, we're gonna go over to the Manitou Weather Station and they're actually cutting ice today and they cut ice because there's no freezers up here. So basically, well, not a lot. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with we'll that. We'll have one of them explain it to you. <laughs> yeah, they put the ice in like a building for the summertime so they have ice throughout the summer. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go watch them do that. So what do you use the ice for in the summertime? Like how? So it goes, it's, it's, it's in the ice house there. So on the one side of the ice house is six foot by 10 foot uh, room okay. with just a partition and this is all ice yep. okay, and this is all stainless shell so all the vegetables, drinks and everything stay in there so for us it's a huge refrigerator okay. yeah. like even as 90 degrees out it'll be uh, it'll be let's say 36 degrees or so in that ice house really? in the summertime okay. right, so everything stays nice and cool nice. and then the guest Chris will take every morning he'll take maybe one or two blocks out crush it crush them up and then put them in coolers by the main lodge so oh. as the guests oh. leave to go so you got ice and help yourself yeah. with ice you want ice back at your cabin come to the main lodge get ice for sure for get sure that is awesome yeah. saw run good and everything this morning and yeah cool. I'll show you the Ice this year, because of the, the slush and stuff we, there? Quite often we cut the white ice off. You see it on the is clear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Typically, if the clear will last inches, longer. Way longer, right? Yeah. Typically, if there's only two inches of white, we allow it off. Okay. Yeah. There she is in there, huh? Wow. So it's just a big old. Just oh, it's a big a old wood blade? Two cylinder? It's or? A two cylinder cord. Two, two cylinder it, sideways? Yeah. Yep. Cool. And, uh, Big old blade on her. Look at that. And then you can lower it down. We can we can adjust the height by wow. this. We can adjust the height to cut. I can cut up to 14 inches. Really? Together. So today we 14. were cutting maybe 11. Oh, really? That's about maybe what's out here, eh? That's, so I try to cut it as, about this close to the bottom. Okay. If we can, right? Yeah, for sure. Because then you're not chopping a bunch of water up top or whatever. That's right. Not can't cut in water. So oh, for sure. Keep a dry hole. And then you can easy that little bit just breaks off. It'll just yeah pop. It just breaks off. Gotcha. That's about an hour and a half. We have about 900 blocks cut. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Super cool. Take a peek at the ice chunks here. That is awesome. So tomorrow morning, they'll probably be, I don't think quite walk on it. It'll be about two, three inches ice tomorrow Oh, probably, yeah. Already, eh? Already, already, uh, already, already, yeah. Already, so, yeah. Wow. So you just got a big, long pokey stick. You push them just to the... Just pushing it to one way, this way, or that way. The okay. The machine's just right. The machine's right. The sleighs come right alongside here. Oh, and just stack just, it in the sleigh? Just stack it in the sleighs. Uh-huh. Okay, they come around with the sleighs. Yeah. The two sleighs just keep going, just keep going yeah. circles. Yeah. And then they got an elevator over there. That oh, for sure. Into the ice oh, that sleigh. is awesome. So it, uh, cool, yeah, it cool. 
pretty sick. We've done it for 15 years now, so. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's so kind of neat. And not that we need to have all this ice. I mean, with the solar system we have now, we could probably make ice and, and oh, have the yeah. freezers. Yep. But it's kind of the novelty of it is now is, you know, when we say we do ice, everybody just said, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, this, this is cool. Super cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's an ice house up there. Yeah. That was awesome. All right, let's just. All right, night spot. Try this for the, the night. night spot. Same as the morning. Same as the morning spot. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody's gonna know. Don't be suspicious. There we go. Mm -hmm. How's it feel? Feels pretty good. Awesome. Hooked up! Hooked up! Woo! I see it on the screen. How does it feel? Feels decent. Just keep the pressure on him. You're doing good. He's at uh, 45 feet right now. <laughs> does it feel pretty heavy? Yeah. Oh, there was another one down there with him. Oh, here's his. There you go. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. Daddy. You are burping? Yep. Grab him out of there. Yes. Good yes, job, honey. Sir. Let's go. Grab his tail. That's a good one. Guys, look at this. There's another fish on the screen. There you go. Woo. Number six for the day. Yes. Finally. Beautiful fish. A quick picture here. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Bye. Boom. All right, let's go back down. There's another one down there right now. Here's Ooh. your lure. You're in. Yeah. Good job, hon. Again. Try this bad boy thing. Be a little bit of juicy juice with your old fins. It doesn't feel trouty. It might be a white fish. Mm. Might be a white fish. Can you grab the deucer though? Yes. Yeah, it hasn't ran yet. We might have a white fish and we can keep white fish too. Yeah. It has it's just really blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Unless I snagged something. But it's definitely coming right up super easy. And here it is. Oh, burbit! Sweet! Nice! Burby burb! Burbit! I need to catch a big one of those. Oh, there's another big fish on bottom. Right on me. What is this? You gonna eat it? Maybe it's another burbot. It. Got him! Oh my gosh! It's it me. is! It is! It's another burbot. Okay, I'll get you. Oh yeah, it's just bleh, bleh, sweet! Yeah! Yikes! Yeah, 
snakes. It's definitely a... Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, it wants to run. You look at it. What? Maybe it's not a burbot. Look at that thing I just know. carousing. Holy smokes. This is a bird, but it's a big one. Yeah, you want to record that sideways? Come on, baby. This is a big fish. Oh my goodness. a couple clicks. Here he comes. Come on, big burbot. Maybe it, it might, it could be anything. It could be anything. Here he comes. Ten feet away. Here's your leader. Oh, it's a huge, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a giant burbot. It's out, it's out the hole. <laughs> Look at that burbot! You guys! Oh my god, we're eating good tonight! <laughs> Babe! Yeah! Look at that burbot! That thing is huge! Okay, let me take a picture, like, right as the moment. <laughs> Amazing! Big old burbot! And he Woo! choked it! That oh is huge! This, these are amazing. Look at the head on that thing. I know. Oh, touch it's it. so touch beautiful. It. Squeeze his tail and stuff like this. Oh just, my god! Isn't that that's awesome? So cool. Woo! Oh, oh my, my gosh! Goodness. That is incredible. I seen his mouth and was like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that. He chowed that. That was one of the seably spoons that's or whatever amazing. they are. That's incredible. Honey. <laughs> Try to straighten him out. Oh yeah, he's... Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're keeping that one too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, whatever you say. Seriously? Reel this one. Take it. Take it. Come over here switch it. Here. Oh, this feels... Does it feel weird? Yeah. This feels really weird. Is that a bourbon again? It, yeah, it's another bourbon. <clears throat> you get to catch bourbon this time. It's huge, it feels like. Easy one. Not as big as yours. I can see it on the live scope. Yeah. Maybe. Still decent. It will be easy with them. Okay, here's your leader. Slow down. Lift. Oh, hello, guy. There you go. Nice. Hold Ooh. on. Hold on to the fish. There's no spines. No nothing. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's really cool. <gasps> Stop! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Hand on your leg like this. You sunk it into ya. Well, yeah, it's because all of the weight from it falling from the air landed, landed on my hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you want to try and do? <gasps> it's out. It's out. It's fine. Okay. Oh. 
Just hold her tight right there. Uh, yep, it's, it's gonna be sore, baby. It's gonna be sore. We're gonna put some gauze on it. And you're, you're gonna be just fine. Okay. Well, that was a fun little excursion there. If you guys don't know how to pull a hook out, just watch very closely at what we did there. And uh, that's how you pull hooks out of hands. Look at, there it is. See, the barbs aren't even, they're not even there. It's barbless, we're in Canada. Right. Well, there's that. Good thing we had some first aid. Good thing I pulled a double treble hook out of my head this summer. That was just like that. There she is. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. Did I surprise you on the pulp? I just was like, well, you were like taking deep breaths, and I'm like, what? What do you want to do about Bye. it? Boom! <laughs> I wasn't gonna count one, two, three. No, I wasn't looking. That's why I wasn't looking because I didn't want to know. You know, I've always wanted to film me taking a hook out, but yeah. did you get any of that? I I think I got a lot of it, but I wanted to film it on myself and not my wife. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you caught a burbot, kind of. I mean, I said it and you took it because it yeah. was a weird you mushy caught a bite. Big, big burbot. I caught a big one first. Your finger okay? My finger. Sorry. Yikes. I forgive you. Heat no, of the moment. I was really, really Heat mad. Of the moment. It'll be sore. It'll, it'll be sore. Guys, you got a lake trout tonight. I did. I got two burbot. You got that one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what else? We watched them cut some ice today. That was really cool. We didn't see it to see them cut the ice, but we went over and watched them like um, loaded in the conveyor up into their ice freezer thing. Watched them take it out of the lake. They took all of the white part of the Yeah, ice they took off. the slushy part off because that melts faster. They wanted the clear hard ice. Um, and then we went back to the cabin. We ate a little bit of food there and then came back out to the exact same holes we were at this morning where we caught the five and had lots. Had lots of fish down there. Yeah, lots of the fish lots come of in fish. and play. Oh, here we go. Right here, a little sharpener. Guys, we're at the fish cleaning house here. Check it out. Nice stainless steel table. We got the heater rolling in here. She's insulated, cutting boards. We brought a little bit of lake water down so we can clean our fish up. We got the burbot. We got your lake trout from earlier. We're going to clean them up. Well, we're back at the cabin. Just got the fish filleted off. Check out this. Look at this little cabin here. We got stove, sink, the wood stove. There's a fridge in here and stuff for summertime people that come in boats and whatnot. But um, yeah, nice little cabin. We got four beds back there in the room. And then behind that, there's a full bathroom with a shower and stuff. But it's turned off for now and we use the sauna and then there's a shower down in there. That's pretty sweet. We'll show you that in a little bit. But yeah, we're just getting back to the cabin. We're gonna bag some fish up, freeze a little bit of fish. We're gonna cook a little bit of fish and we'll probably see you in the morning when we go fishing again. How's that finger? It's doing okay. Needs a rewrap. All right.
We just got set up, set up, tied on a new line. How's your finger doing? It's doing good. Doing good? Yeah, not too bad. Good. Forgot about it, basically? Yeah. Okay. So, we are going fishing. It's day two, day three here. Something like that, day three. Let's start fishing. We only got a couple hours of bite window, like you said. We move spots a little bit. Let's go. <clears throat> You're on. Holy smokes. I don't even know what this is. You're on bottom. You were on bottom. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's a laker. It's got some head shakes, right? Here I am just trying to adjust and crack my back. And the fish hit. my hair a little bit. Easy with them. Easy. Let them bite you. Ooh, that looks pretty decent. It's a nice laker. Nice laker, honey. Good one. Oh my gosh, there's something big. <laughs> there's, there's something big in the middle of the screen. There you go. Come on. Hang on. Yep. Let some line out. Boop. And it's out. Just like that. Set your pole aside. And then I hook it up. This is what we came out here for, guys. Woohoo! Check out that pretty fish. That's awesome. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Are you kidding me again? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. Back to back. I didn't even get my line down. <clears throat> it's huge, honey. It is huge. You're going to fit through the hole? Yep. Yep. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Drag. He's up, he's up, he's up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that lake trout. Holy smokes, honey. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> This one, you Look can you can hold this one in the gill because... Um, it's just like, look at how he choked it. Oh. <sighs> Let's go! Woo! Babe, look at that thing! Look at that lake choke you just Woo! caught. That thing's like 33. Probably, or... yeah. Oh my god, that thing All is right. huge. So far, this is still an alive fish. He does have the treble down there. I'm going to try to get it out. Okay. Is there anything you want me to try and do? Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. Look, at, look at her leeches on him. Yeah. They're falling off him because he's out of the water now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, this fish can stay alive. He was right on the bottom. Okay, that's out. Okay. Try and do really big, nice pictures, please. This one you can hold in the gill because it's just like a pike, okay? Okay. Just like a pike. So put your finger to thumb just like you would. Finger to thumb, right to mine. There you go. Yep. yep. Hold them sideways. There you go. <laughs> there you go, babe. You this got them tight. This is incredible. Look at the head on that thing. Beautiful, huge fish. We're going to let this fish go. He's a healthy fish. He or she, it. Ready? And the tail waves goodbye. As Buddy Tony would say, back to the depths. I say, see you later, buddy. Hun, that was back to back. You just caught two lake trout back to back. Yes. High five. Good job. Thank you. <gasps> see, I didn't want to go down because I didn't want him to. Oh, he's on you now. I'm going to change my bait. Whoa. Maybe I'm not. You might get him. He's. He's confused. It's okay. He's just right back. There's he, another one. There's another one. On! Yes! Good job, honey. Good job. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, oh look, there's... Still there. Okay. <clears throat> On again, she is! 
be down, it'd be towards the ground. Just slow lift, slow lift, super slow. Super slow, here we go. This is just as big as the last one, if not bigger. All right, always hit the live scope, hit the live scope, come on. It's okay, it's not on. Oh, it's, it's, it's about the same size. Okay, just apply pressure, just same pressure, same pressure, same pressure. He's here. Okay, upwards, a little pressure, pressure, pressure. Nice. Here we go. Nice. Again. Another nice fish. Jiggle wiggle. Careful. It's stuck in there. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> she is on the board with another one, you guys. She's just railing these things this morning. Nice fish. Let's just nice get a nice fish. thumbnail. We got thumbnail already. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. We can at least get a picture with this. Come down. Like this, Check that fish out, guys. Look at that. So dark. Yeah. Just a dark beauty. Do you want to keep this one? We can keep this one. This is a perfect keeper size. Yes. Perfect. All right, this will be your keeper for the day. We'll toss Woo! them, toss them outside so we can freeze up. Nice keeper fish. That's amazing. These fish are insane. Mm-hmm. He just hit yours. Or he's gonna. He's looking at it, dead sticking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Careful. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There you go. It's excited. Thousand miles an hour. Let's go. Let him take another run. Another nice one, you guys, we're hammering. <laughs> She's hammering these fish. This is wild. This color is something else. It's yeah. got a little bit of red and blue flake in it and they are loving it. Good fish, honey. Thank you, that was a nice fish. We'll send them right on back. <clears throat> See you later, bud. Last time in the shack, babe. Yeah, it is the, the last last night. Yep. Last, last night, night in the shack. shack. This is our last hoorah. So we're just getting set up. We're set up between the spot we were at yesterday and the spot we were at this morning. Figuring there's a huge, it's like 120 foot deep and it comes up to like 50. So there's a big shelf and usually they say with lake trout, the lake trout push the bait to the shelf and then they eat. So hopefully they run down the shelf and what happens is where that is up, we're on the corner end of it. So if they push them down to the down to the end, we'll be right there waiting for them. And then where we were the other day is over here and there's kind of like a same thing. We're kind of like in a funnel, hopefully. So we had luck this morning, we had luck last night. Um, we're gonna try to hopefully catch some burba tonight and not get a hook in her hand again, <laughs> um, or mine. But uh, yeah, so we're back at it, we're fishing again. Getting set up. Let's go. Last night. Let's do it. Let's catch a big, big leg trout. Catch another giant burbot. Let's do it, honey. Let's do it, babe. We'll find out if it's a burbot. Chunk our stuff up with some burbot food here. He's over on my side. Yeah! Yes. That's a big one. That's a big one. Good job. It's coming up quick. <laughs> Slow down, he's here. Nice. There go. Woo. Oh. You. Good job, honey. Yeah. Little dry streak there. Look at that one. Awesome. Nice, nice fish. Good job. Thank you. So fun. 
Let your fish go. Oh. Finally, huh? This is amazing. It is. Every time. Just worth it. Ready? Can you see? Yeah, we're good. You got it? <laughs> Not there, bud. Nice. He got you. Yeah, he did. Nice. Woo. Awesome. Oh, smokers. We did it. Is that me down there? I got the burbot lure on, so I'm going down, down, down. Pound the mud. Well, that fish was about seven minutes behind schedule. Fish. Where? I mean, it was a fish. Oh. Yeah? You done good. Fish. Burbot. Yeah! I literally just said I got the burbot lure on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another giant. Oh, it's a giant. Yes. It is another giant burbot. This is huge. I was just tapping it right down in the mud. Just in the mud. Oh, it popped off. I, I don't know. Well, if there's one down there, there's more down there. Oh, that was a big one. That felt bigger than last night. Yikes. Remember, these hooks don't have barbs. Oh, are you ready to roll? Mm -hmm. Done with Canada for a minute. I want to live here. Yeah, it is awesome up here. It is fantastic. Not just the fishing, it's beautiful. It's quiet. It's super duper quiet. There's not a lot of people on the lakes. There's like, like there's not, they're not full of cabins. Yeah. It's amazing. It's been real, Canada. It's been awesome. amazing. Awesome. Super fun. <laughs> well, we just got back to the cabin after our last outing of fishing. It was uh, it was wild up here. Mm -hmm. Big lake trout, giant burbot, super warm cabin, a nice sauna. The sauna. The sauna. We're about to head to the sauna in a little bit. Here is the bedroom setup. Got a bed over here. That's actually two beds. We just pushed them together like this here. Do, do, do. We're gonna pack our big old wet bags up. <clears throat> Didn't use this bathroom at all because it's pretty much uh, winterized, you know, but it's there. Some cabinets and whatnot. So that's that. Like I said, we're in the moose cabin and yeah, we are just getting ready to pack everything up and take the long haul of about 15, 12, 15 miles or so back to the car. And then from there, we got about a six hour drive back south home. Um, I think, what are we, two hours over the border? Or an hour and 15. Yeah, an hour and 15 from International Falls. Yep. Cross at International Falls, go up 50 or this way, east, and then 502 to Preacher Road, Lower Manitou Lake. Check it out. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. Manitou Weather Station. Um, yeah, like that. We're going to end it here. We're going to hope for a safe ride out of here tomorrow. And hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed to the channel, love it if you hit that subscribe button. What else do we say? See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>